Thematic maps illustrate the characteristics of map features according to values in one or more data fields. This tutorial demonstrates how to create color, chart, dot density, 3D, and size thematic maps. Let's start by creating a map of the United States from the home window. First, make the layer to which you want to add the theme the working layer by right-clicking on it in the Display Manager and choosing Make Working Layer, or by choosing it from the drop-down list on the standard toolbar. To add a color theme to the layer, click the Color Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field that contains the data you want to map from the field drop-down list. Because this layer contains many fields of data, I can filter the list by typing a few characters. For example, if I type FAMILY, the field list will be filtered to these fields. I'm going to choose the Median Family Income field and click OK. Maptitude creates a color theme based on the family income values and applies it to the map. States with lower income are shown with lighter colors, and states with higher income are shown with darker colors. There are many ways that you can customize a color theme. For example, you can change the method for creating the classes, change the number of classes, or even specify the exact values of the classes by clicking Customize. Maptitude shows you what the low, high, and average values for the field are here. Below, you can enter low and high values for each class, or choose a different method. For example, I will choose the steps method to create equal size intervals, choose 7 for the number of classes, enter 20,000 as my low starting value, and 15,000 for the step value. Click the Styles tab to customize the colors. You can click the Previous or Next buttons to cycle through the various color ramps, or choose Start and End colors from the drop-down lists. When I click OK, you will see that the map now uses the colors that I chose, and that the classes are at equal $15,000 intervals. If the Hover tool is enabled, and I move the pointer over any state, you will notice that the hover label now also includes the median family income value from the theme. To create a chart theme, click the Chart Theme Map Wizard. Choose one or more fields to include in the charts. For example, I'll choose the Owner Occupied and Renter Occupied Housing Unit fields. Choose the type of chart and other settings, and click OK. In this case, Maptitude adds a pie chart theme showing the owner and renter occupied housing in each state. Just like with color themes, you can customize a chart theme. In this case, let's make the minimum size a little larger. Change the color for this pie slice. And click OK. You can see from this chart theme that homeowners and renters are fairly evenly split in some states, like California, whereas in other states, such as Iowa, there are many more owner-occupied than renter-occupied housing units. To create a 3D theme, click the 3D Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field on which to base the heights. The 3D theme will also include a color theme to further highlight the height differences. If you want, you can choose a different field for the color theme, or choose none to use the same field. Choose whether to use all features in the layer or just the visible ones, and optionally add a header or footer. On the Options tab, you can choose the angles at which to view the theme, choose whether to show the chart axis, and choose whether or not to use logarithmic scaling. And on the Styles tab, you can again choose one of the color ramps to set your own low and high value colors. When I click OK, Maptitude displays a 3D theme in a separate window and displays the 3D controls. You can use the spinners to change the viewing angles, the height, or the scale. You can also use the tools to make changes to the 3D theme. For instance, I can zoom in and zoom out with this tool, or I can use this tool to rotate the 3D theme. Now let's go back to the original map. I'm going to remove the color theme,
and the chart theme, and turn on the county layer to demonstrate dot density and size themes. First, I'll make the county layer the working layer by right clicking on it and choosing Make Working Layer, and then click the dot density theme map wizard. Choose one or more fields and click OK. You can filter the list here. For example, I'm going to type Hispanic and then choose the Hispanic or Latino and not Hispanic or Latino fields. When I click OK, Maptitude adds the theme to the map. In this case, each blue dot represents 75,000 people of Hispanic origin, and each green dot represents 75,000 non Hispanic people. Areas with a higher population have more dots. You can also customize a dot density theme. For example, you can change the value here to have more or fewer dots, and you can change the style of the dots here. For example, I'll change the size and color, and copy the size here. I'm going to open the dot density map wizard one more time, and click remove to remove the theme from the map, and finally create a size theme by clicking the Size Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field to use for the theme. For point layers, the icon will vary in size, and for line layers, the line width will vary in size. In this case, since the theme is on an area layer, you can also click the Style tab to choose an icon and color to use for the theme. I'm going to click OK to use the defaults here. Again, let's customize this theme a little bit. Let's change the smallest value size to 2 points and the largest value to 50 points. Now our size theme is a little easier to read and you can clearly see which counties have the highest populations. And that wraps up this tutorial on Maptitude Themes.